for structural integrity monitoring system failure. Attempting to reboot. Critical error. Reboot failure. Integrity status unknown. Pressure's monitoring system, failure. Pressure status, unknown. Warning! All facility scientific personnel, please evacuate immediately. You have 11 minutes to reach minimum safe distance. System failure preemption protocol initiated. Engaging code red emergency. Attention reactor operations to Soros personnel. You are instructed to attempt the reactor shutdown before evacuating the facility. Attempting the fleet will have you terminated on site. This is your only warning. Estimating time of reactor destruction. Danger. Dark matter reactor explosion will occur in T minus 10 minutes. The option to shut down the reactor core will expire in T minus 5 minutes. The option to shut down the dark matter reactor is now active. Please note, the temperature must be below 3000 Kelvin to allow for the combustion stall protocol to engage. Attention, a distress signal has been sent by reactor operations personnel. Communications network down. Attempting to re-establish connection with Eastern Seaboard Communications Diode. Danger. Radiation levels exceeding maximum safe limits for reactor. Emergency shutdown system activated. Warning. Facility integrity compromised. Please enter a safety shelter or evacuate the facility immediately. Emergency shutdown system successful. Crisis averted. 
dark matter reactor forward into holding chamber on the immediate maintenance. Facility mandated radio silence overridden by Reactor Operations Personnel. Code Hotel Lima 32. The facility is secure. Squadron Bravo 3 is moving in. Reactor Operations, please report on the near thermal runaway of the DMR. The DMR experienced a pressure containment failure within fuel cell chamber 3, causing the mixture of both inner and outer atmosphere. How this occurred is unknown to us. However, we are able to engage the emergency combustion stall protocol mere moments before the DMR fell to the thermal runaway. The first warning was prompted around 11.23 p.m. We recorded a spike in combustion, however dismissed it as part of the probability for neutron flux spikes. Was Dr. Kaiser present? the facility at the time? No. Kaiser left the facility 40 minutes prior to the first warning. She scheduled a lockdown drill to take place around the same time she left. I was tasked with conducting a stress test for the DMR, saying it was one of the preliminary tests to allow for the DMR to be used commercially. The DMR proceeds to reach supercritically approximately around 11.35 p.m. The lockdown Dr. Crazy placed was overridden following the announcement of a code red emergency. The shutdown code has to be searched for manually. The automated systems in place were deleted with a forced intrusion recorded around noon earlier today. If a forced intrusion was detected, why was the engineering department not notified? Why was the information department not notified? It is your job to ensure all systems are running nominally to prevent such an accident. Dr. Kaiser dismissed the investigation, saying that Informations was updating the code to meet the standards for their new firmware. I proposed the shutdown of the DMR during this system maintenance, yet she disregarded the notion by saying that it would not impact operations. Engineering reports that there's no records of such maintenance request. Neither does information. Protocol states that during any software remedies that are relevant to the DMR operations must be conducted during the DMR's off time. Noted. Thank you two for handling the situation. We may have to be prevented the now full of nuclear industry. I'll ensure that Mr. McCarvey is informed of this immediately. For now, an investigation will be conducted on Dr. Kaiser for negligence of safety protocols. Bravo 3 will monitor the situation for now. You two are relieved of your duties, effective immediately. 